Hello everyone, this is Tanner here, and welcome to a different video. As some of you might know, I did get a new MacBook, so I'm actually trying using OBS for the first time recording an NFL quiz video. This might go really good or really bad, so just let me know in the comments below kind of your thoughts on how this turns out. We're doing an NFL quiz, and that is... Can you name the regular season starting quarterbacks from 2010 to 2019? Here I got my Ravens hat. I got Eagle Green behind me. And I got a Surfaces Band t-shirt. Really good band here. Um, I highly recommend them. So here we go. I'm going to try to name all of them. This is kind of my area of expertise for the NFL is this era of basically I started watching football really seriously in 2014. And I have a lot of knowledge of kind of the players around this. There will be ads on this website, which is Sporacle. But I have the face cam trying to cover up some of the advertisements. So hopefully it's not too bad. But anyways, let's get going here. And I know the right side might be blocked a bit here, but I'll try to adjust this. So here we go. So it's going to say the team, quarterback, and starts. So first we have Philip Rivers, definitely a really great quarterback. We have Matt Ryan. I want to just go to the big names, Brady Breeze, Roethlisberger. Time of recording this, it looks like Aaron Rodgers is back at camp. We also got Brett Favre. We got Eli and Peyton Manning. Is Eli Manning a Hall of Famer? That's a big question. In my opinion, he is. You know, he did not have the best stats of all time, but he did have some nice Super Bowl wins and moments. So we got Russell Wilson, Cam Newton. I miss peak Cam, um, I was a bandwagon Panthers fan, and his MVP season was really fun to watch. Uh, I'm going to go through some of the journeyman quarterbacks. We have Ryan Fitzpatrick, Josh McCown, two great guys, Brian Hoyer, Blaine Galbert, Mike Glennon. I kind of think about all those guys in the same area, even though Fitzpatrick and McCown are better than them. Jay Cutler, very interesting QB, very up and down. We got Carson Palmer. I don't know why I said that name weird. We got... Ryan Tannehill, Derek Carr. Cool to see the Tannehill resurgence in Tennessee. Uh, we got Tony Romo. We got Blake Bortles. We got Gardner Minshew, Nick Foles, Michael Vick, thinking of Eagles QBs. Washington Ministers, Kirk Cousins. We got Andrew Luck, who retired way too early. I wish that we saw a lot more of Andrew Luck. Um, this is Sam Bradford for the Rams, Eagles, um, Vikings and Cardinals. The one year Sam Bradford was with the Eagles was 2015, which was such a weird year for them. Tampa Bay is Jameis Winston. We also have Josh Freeman on here, who is a bust. Oh, we got Dak Prescott. Don't know why I'm spelling that name. I'm going to just list off quarterbacks. We got RG3. Um, Tennessee, Jake Locker might be on here. That's not him. Um, is Vince Young. That's not him. Did I type in Mariota? Okay, we have not. We got Colin Kaepernick. There we go. Mark Sanchez, I think. Yeah, because I remember he had like a couple games with the Eagles. We have Nick Foles. We got Wentz. We got Goff. All right, Houston, Baltimore, Atlanta. This is Matt Schwab. Really good passer with the Texans. He had like... I think close to 5,000 yards one season. He was really talented. That's Matt Castle, famous backup for New England. Was pretty decent with the Chiefs, so he was kind of early in the decade. Um, let's see. Buffalo, Cleveland. Tyler Taylor, that's who it is. Seattle, Tennessee, Indianapolis. That's Matt Hasselbeck. Very underrated quarterback. He was never fantastic, but he was pretty good. We got John Kitna there for the Lions. and Okay, uh, Cowboys, it was this decade. Trubisky, I'm just going to go through Jackson, Allen, Mayfield. I honestly think there's a good chance that a lot of those QBs from the draft class could win a Super Bowl. The Bills are close, so is Cleveland and Baltimore. The only guys probably not winning it are Josh Rosen. Um, and may, maybe Sam Darnold. I could see the Panthers making a run in like two to three years. Miami and Jacksonville, is this David Garrard? No, but he does appear. I want to, the Scott Tolzing, he comes to mind for the Colts. Houston, that is Watson, Minnesota. Is that Christian Ponder? It is. Minnesota Saints. 
Case Keenum is on this list. That's who the top one is. I forgot he played for the Texans. Miami Jacksonville. Is that Chad Henney? It is. Uh, you know, he was famous for that Chiefs play, but he did play and start earlier this season. Um, The Bills quarterbacks are hard. I know Thad Lewis might be on this with EJ Manuel, Geno Smith. We already got Smith in there. I'm just trying to think division by division. Um, Kansas City, we got Mahomes. Denver, Houston. Denver again, Miami. Denver, Houston, Denver, Miami. I'm trying to think who would that be. I'm going to move the face cam down here. Denver, Houston, Denver, Miami. Is that? Okay, that is Tim Tebow's on this list. That's not him. Is that Paxton Lynch is going to be on here? Simeon might be Osweiler. He was actually pretty decent. That is Osweiler. Okay. Minnesota, New Orleans is hard. Because, you know, he Drew Brees is the name that comes to mind. And, oh, Teddy Bridgewater. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, this does include this past season. Bridgewater, man, he seems like such a nice guy. I hope he gets a chance one day to become a franchise QB. I thought he was okay with the Panthers. He had some good moments. And I think he should be the starter in um, Denver. Uh, he's better than Drew Locke. Um... Okay, let's think of all these Browns quarterbacks. We had Johnny Menzel, famous buzz. Brandon Whedon, that was this decade. Tim Couch was the previous one. Deshaun Kaiser. Okay. Oakland, Chicago, Cleveland. Trell Pryor? I know he took some snaps at quarterback. He's not in the league. He was pretty fun to watch for a while. Miami. Carolina. Is this Jimmy Clausen? Okay, he's down there. Detroit, Arizona. Okay, Kevin Cobb comes to mind. Drew Stanton for Arizona. Comes to mind. Um, Matt Barkley. Okay, he's up there for Chicago and Buffalo. Um, who else do we have? Carolina, Miami, Kansas City. Not Smith. Not Mahomes. I'm really bad with Chiefs players in history. Is Christian Hackenberg on this list a bust for the Jets? He is not. Bryce Petty? He is. Wow. Okay. Let's go division by division. So the Raiders, they had Trell Pryor. They had Derek Carr. We typed in Carr, yeah. He's pretty good. I, I think he's a, I'm not the biggest fan of him, but he seems like a nice person. Just his play style, I think he could be better. Um... Carr's been there since like 2014. EJ Manuel, we already got. Um, there's not anyone else. Chargers has been Rivers. I don't think he got hurt that often. Chiefs has been Smith and Mahomes. Broncos. Oh, Kyle Orton. Okay, there we go. We got Manning. We got Simeon. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo. I can never spell his name. It's. It's one of those I just have issues with. Okay, there we go. We got it. Um, anyone else in the AFC West? Because the thing is, I grew up being a Eagles fan, Cardinals, and Ravens fan. And the AFC West is not a division. Those teams played a ton. My division is a bit lack. My knowledge is a bit lacking. John Skelton, I know, played for the Cardinals. He's there. Well, is this Donovan McNabb? Yes. He ended his career at the Vikings. Eagles legend. Washington, is this Jason Campbell? Okay, no, that's who the Cleveland-Chicago one is. Okay. Jets, I'm trying to think. We got Fitzpatrick. We got down. Is this Darnold? Okay, we got Darnold. We got, we got everyone from that draft class. Um, We got Goff. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of other people. Did we get Jake Locker down? I think we did. Gabbard. We got Ponder. I'm trying to think if I'm on the draft classes. Here's on Carolina Buffalo. Um, Ryan Mallett comes to mind for the Ravens. He was kind of a preseason star. Um, San Francisco, that got 10 starts. 49ers have had a lot of quarterbacks. Tennessee Indy. Giants for 12. 
It's not. I'm trying to think. Try, oh, Daniel Jones. I was thinking of the tail end of this decade. Daniel Jones. I'm a bit higher on Jones. People hate him. I'm not saying he's like the best QB ever as we got TJ Yates there, but I don't know. I thought he had some decent plays and um, I don't know. I feel like he should be remembered uh, or thought of a bit more highly. I would probably have him around 16, 17 for QB ranking. Um, I'm trying to think of that one quarterback who was on the Packers. Matt Flynn. He like had a yeah. He like got us on like Detroit. Um, as you can see, not a ton on the right side here. Um, Mason Rule Rudolph got some starts. He's there for Pittsburgh. I remember that whole thing with Miles Garrett. That's probably the craziest moment I've ever seen. You know, yes, there's been crazy Super Bowls. You know, 28 to 3, the Seahawks Patriots, but that whole Miles Garrett Mason Rudolph thing was crazy. I saw Miles Garrett post something a while ago basically saying that they kind of made up, which I'm happy about because that could have been really bad. Seattle, Tennessee, Green Bay. Oh, Brett Hundley. He was pretty decent the year Rodgers was hurt. Tennessee, that's not Mariota, not Tannehill. They had Jake Locker. I feel like there's some a couple backups I'm missing. Um, who got 28 for Cleveland and Washington? So it wasn't RG3. They got Kirk Cousins. Dwayne Haskins might be on here. Okay, we got him. Uh, I hope he works on Pittsburgh. He's not my favorite person in terms of attitude, but I don't know. I, he, I liked him coming out of Ohio State, so hopefully Big Ben can mentor him. Cleveland and Washington. Oh, oh, what's the name of that one guy from Texas? Colt McCoy. I, I, that is him, okay, because I know he also got some starts for Dallas, I believe. I This Carolina, Miami, Kansas City one is driving me nuts. I might give up here. I don't. I'm gonna do another quiz video. I don't wanna waste time on this. That anymore. Um, Houston, not Yates, not Mallet. I'm just trying to think. We got all the big quarterbacks here of this decade. San Francisco. Oh, what was his name? Nick Mullins. I remember he started against the Raiders and was really good. Indy. That's not Brissett. Um, or we got luck. Kansas City. Cleveland, Green Bay, you know, I, I'm i not using this as an excuse. I just grew up watching a lot of the NFC teams, so a lot of these AFC backups, I'm a bit unfamiliar. Who played 16 games for Washington? I'm trying to think. Because RG3 was 2012, and Kirk Cousins started after that. And then it was Case Keenum, then it, then it was um Haskins. Terry Heineke, he's not going to be on here. I don't know who that is. Anyone here? Detroit. Stafford's kind of the only one I know. Oh, Landry Jones. I know he's a backup for Pittsburgh. Oh, we already, we already got him. I might give up here, everyone. Um, We got Thad Lewis. We got... I mean, I think this is pretty good. We got all the big ones here. Uh, this one is bothering me. I'm trying to think. Jimmy, it's not Jimmy Clausen. Carolina, I mean, it's been Cam. Teddy, it's not Teddy Bridgewater. I don't. Is it? It's not Dante Culpepper. Yeah, that one. He would not be in this decade. I'm pretty happy with how I did. I think 103 out of 159 is pretty good. So let's see. Matt Moore. Oh, I remember him. He had that one playoff game where he started against the Steelers. When he was on the Dolphins. Okay. Rex Grossman. I do not associate him with Washington. I remember him on the Bears. Playing against Peyton Manning. The Colts in the Super Bowl. Manning got his first ring. Derek Anderson. He had that interesting press conference rant. Kellen Clemens. Yeah. Cody Kessler. I remember it now. But not at the top of my head. CJ Beathard. Kerry Collins. Wow. He played in this decade? Okay. Austin Davis, Zach Mettenberger, a lot of these guys, yeah, they sound familiar, but not at the top of my head. Zach Mettenberger, I probably should have gotten, so that's one I think I should have gotten. Maybe Derek Anderson, Matt Moore, eh. Um, Tom Savage, I definitely should have gotten. Charlie Whitehurst, I don't associate with this decade. Tre Jeff Driscoll, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. Seneca Wallace, okay. Brady Quinn, maybe should have gotten. He's a bust. 
I'm actually pretty happy with that. A lot of the ones I missed, I was like, oh, okay, I, I get how I miss them. And we got a 65%, so... Um, what else can we do here? What else is a very interesting quiz? Um, can we do NFL passing? Let's just see NFL QBs if there's any other. I'm doing this on my main channel because I haven't done football content on here in a while. I just thought, try this. We'll try this one. How many is there? 105. Oh, my God. Gosh. Okay, let's go. Ten minutes. We got Breeze. Brady Rogers. Marino is on here. One of my favorites. I wish I could see him play. We got Manning. We got Roethlisberger. We got Matt Schwab is probably this one. Culpepper's on here. What year is this? Since 1960. So will Fran Tarkenton be on here? Aikman. He had five. Nick Foles in out a big game. Deshaun wants... Oh, did I not spell Matt Schwab? Oh, Warren Moon. Very underrated quarterback. That's not even him. I don't know who else it would be. Detroit, we got Stafford. Rivers. Ryan. Mike Vick. Could he have had some big plays? Young. Montana. Dallas. Starbuck. Mr. Captain America, Romo, Prescott, no, Dan Fouts is on here, Dan Fouts is kind of underrated, I don't know if I would say he's an all-time great QB, but he had some really nice moments, I feel like he should be him a bit more highly, this Houston one is throwing me, is Russell Wilson on here, Matt Hasselbeck, Kurt Warner might be on here, Mark Bird Bulger, no, Joe Theismann, another underrated player. I feel like a lot of these quarterbacks and kind of that, like there's a lot of great quarterbacks who won Super Bowls and not highly remembered. Like Theismann won MVP with Washington. Ken Stabler had some good games with the Raiders. Like these are guys who I think have become very overrated or underrated, my bad. Baltimore, is that Joe Flacco? It's not, Oh, this is Lamar Jackson. Okay, well, let's think retro. Why Tittle? Norman Van Brocklin. Um, Washington Buffalo. This one's not going so hot. Sam, not Hasselback. Jim Everett might be on here for the Rams. He is. Green Bay, we got Favre. Oh, we didn't get Favre yet. Oh, okay, we got Rodgers. Bart Starr in here, maybe? No. Cincinnati's Dalton. That's Boomer Sison. Ken Anderson. Boom. Oh, Derek, we got Derek Anderson. Okay. Boston, man, that's retro. Um, oh, Carson Palmer. Pretty good player. I think for the number one pick, he had a pretty nice career. Is he a Hall of Famer? Let me know. I think he is. I think what he did for the Cardinals was pretty great and a good career in um, Cincinnati. Just trying to think of Eagles quarterbacks. Let's just see is... We got Charlie Johnson. Okay, I was thinking maybe Brad Johnson here for the Ravens. Just trying to think of guys with breakout games. We got Greasy. Okay, we're filling out this list. Who is Houston with seven touchdowns? Sid Luckman. Trying to think of just retro QBs. Um, Tommy Maddox. I know he has some decent years with the Steelers. Cordell Stewart. No. Terry Bradshaw. Yes. Okay, I'll sink. Browns. Baker Mayfield. I don't think he is. Okay, he is. Um, did we type in Manning? We did. We typed in Warren Moon. I'm surprised he's not on here as a gunslinger in the day. Rams for five. Is this Goff? It. Yeah, I think he's on. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's not the one. Is this Mark Bolger? He played in the like after Kurt Warner days with the Rams. He had some pretty nice years. I might. Give up here on this quiz so that way we can do another. We've been going for about almost 20 minutes, so. Um, Oakland. Not Carr, not Stabler. I'm just trying to think of the big names here. Carolina, is this Del Delhomme? No, is it is probably Cam Newton. Okay, he's. A, I feel like it's Jake Delhomme. 
pretty good player. Took the Panthers to the Super Bowl. Washington for five is getting me. It's not thighs. Is it Kirk Cousins? I know he has some like breakout games. RG3 has some good games his rookie year. Is it Sammy Baugh? Um, Green Bay for five. Rams, Bills for five. I think I'm going to give up everyone. Not the best here. We did do better. George Blanda. Oh, what's he on the Bears? Okay. Sonny Jurgensen. I think uh, it's not a name that comes to my head. Dave Craig. I always forget him on these lists. Don Meredith. They, a lot of these are retro guys. Yeah, I'm actually pretty okay. Joe Namath. He doesn't come to mind when I think Gunslinger. He's known through that, you know, guaranteed Super Bowl win, but he's not someone when I think of throwing a lot of touchdowns. I'm actually fine with this. A lot of these, uh, Blake Bortles, okay, so I'm actually okay with that one. Um, can we do, let's see if we have another fun one here. NFL, um, 30 passing yards, one, can, can you name the NFL players who have record of recorded 30 passing yards while playing for one team? Okay. I think we can get all of these. So we got Tom Brady here. Now he's on, oh, can they be on multiple teams? Because Brett Favre, he is. Okay, Aaron Rodgers, Stafford, so underrated, Ryan, Rivers, Marino, Moon, Palmer, no, okay, we got Drew Brees, Steelers, Big Ben. Big Ben's an underrated player, let me, uh, kind of hear me out, because people always mention the Brady Manning era, they're like, it's Brady Manning, Bre or Rogers Brees, and Big Ben's there, and I'm like, Big Ben won two Super Bowls, and I'm a Ravens fan, if anything, I should not like him, but he had some like great moments in the Super Bowl, and he was a quarterback that, you know, if your defense didn't prepare, he could definitely make you pay. And I feel like that he's someone who is a first battle Hall of Famer. People are not the biggest fan of his personality, but he's kind of came out and he's helped his players. So, I don't know. I think in the grand scheme of things, he's a bit underrated. Um, going back to this here, we got Russell Wilson. We got Tony Romo. The year really helps. Um, we got Donovan McNabb, we got Troy Aikman, we got Boomer Sison, I believe, or Ken Anderson. Bengals had some good quarterbacks. I think both Anderson and Sison won MVPs. We got Andy Dalton, 49ers. From those years, I have no idea. Vikings fan Tarkenton, a very good scrambling QB. Giants, Phil Sims. Cardinals, oh my gosh. Who is this? Um... I have no idea. 49ers. Before Montana, who was it? I have no idea. Who is the Cardinals one? I said, let's just try name. Jones, Smith. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm going to give up. Jim Hart and John Brody. Okay, we're going to do... We're going to do NFL QBs with seven TDs in the game. Hope you guys enjoy this NFL QB quiz video. Um, It was pretty fun here to make. How can we do this? Okay, no. Drew Brees is up there. So is Norman Van Brocklin. No. Unitas. It's George Blanda. He is. 2013. Oh, Peyton Manning. Okay, 69-69. Bond here. No. Brocklin? We already tried, we already tried Tittle. Spot Star in here. No. Who is it? It is Sid Lugman. Oh, I thought I typed in Tittle. Okay. Anyways, everyone, that'll do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Herbert turned out good. I'll see you next time. Take care.